<laughs> oh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm very emotional from it. I, it's like I've been getting all this water lately in my rides, and I realized today that that's my lineage supporting me. Fucking finally. It's oh, beautiful, like, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but it it was amazing because I was um, been writing out all that love bite action and and everything else that came with it, and I could and I what was happening was all the co ops around my my creative energy, my sexual energy. I could really see how I could see how that played out in my life and the way that it was just the, all the the golden means that were like releasing it how that was releasing it from all dimensions of self, from everything. And it was just, I had no idea that that creative sexual energy could could be like that in its original form. It really, well, it didn't shock me. It was just like the most incredible thing I've felt. It was just so clean and it was so unadulterated and I could see the potential of how one can create with another without having sex it could be through the ethers it just suddenly i remit i could feel it i could feel how it's possible awesome and i for since i was i think about 14 or 15 i knew that i had endometriosis and it's kind of gotten better and worse throughout the years and i just it was the first time it occurred to me to have a look at it and that's what the funny. shame was. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, like, I, I totally I, dig that. It's like, oh, this little thing. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I just, it didn't occur to me. And that's where all the shame was and that where all the bullshit was and it lifted so quickly out of my system. All of that, it just, I... See, when you dance around on the edge of it, right... It never gets it. When you just fucking go in, go hard, it's gone. And it's effortless and it's quick and it's like, oh, Jesus, why did I even have that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It, just, it, re it just was, I have no words. I have no words. You're it emanating, is... you're radiating, you're transmitting. It's all good. Yeah, it was amazing. I... The when you said how this morning in your text, how when connecting to the organic sun has kind of given you a new like it's almost like strengthened your memories or or, or that it's like it really struck me today and I just thought I'd connect more with the organic sun in my ride and it's like my remembering got a bit stronger. It's like something shifted more into focus. So let's 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 um let's open this up. A little, because yes. what there's a couple of things that are fucking glaring in everyone's face right now, or that are the topics of, or whatever the fuck. And one of them is this thing on the real sun, you know, fake sun, whatever. Yeah. And what is organic and what is inorganic? Now, if we go to our, you know, definition of organic being direct source connection inorganic being no source connection. They have to piggyback. Then the Anunnaki are in a precarious place because at one stage they had a source connection. They were organic. But not only did they breed it out, their transhuman agenda took away, you know, so much of their potential as humanity or a humanity, an anthropos 10 realised. Mm. So, I mean, in dealing with an Anunnaki then, can they ever become organic? Can Pinocchio become a man? Can, you know, can the... Yeah, it's, I, like, the fact that they have that Moo connection... They don't have can see connection. Like... They have the Anthropos 10 connection. See, this oh, is... Sorry, no, yeah. but... I'm saying it like this because we, as Anthropos 11, grew up with Mooster, right? So she's influenced our genetic soul blueprint lineages, blah, 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 right? These other Tards haven't had that. 
Yeah. Now, why I'm saying it is because how did this consciousness invasion start? Well, of course, they got here on the passport of being anthropocentric. We welcomed them, we taught them our way, we opened them to the law of Ra. And then, no matter what happened, inbuilt is their archontic connection. Bang! Down comes the walls. So, Rick, I, for me, mm. if they renounced all fucking archontic connection, then maybe they had a chance. But from my experience, it's become such a part of them that no, it can't be. And frankly, they betrayed us in the first place. Get fucked. Not interested. My lie. Yes. Yeah. Sacred mutual compassion. <laughs> For my fucking people, you know? Yeah. Well, I find that like... Well, I, I know, this could be a really simple way to look at it, but I find that to kind of want to go back to Moo, you have to want to do it. And I don't see them wanting to do any of that. Yeah, but what are they wanting to do it for? See, are they oh, wanting just to... to it's, it's a, yeah, but that's what I mean. What so what I've seen with an organic is when they want to connect to Moo, it's such an integral part to them finding themselves that they're beloved... <laughs> You know, it becomes it and, it and it rewards them. A lot of these yeah. anarchy that I've seen, they can just only ever get to eight tenths of the whole. You know what I mean? It's like they're there to get Moose power. Oh, they ne- they don't get it. I just I can't say it any other way. They, they just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, they don't get it. They don't. No. I just that that's my thing for me. I don't have a trust for them. But, you know, let's no. talk about an individual, an individual, an individual. Fine. But like I said, I remember how this shit went down. I remember who pulled the plug, how it happened, how they fucking infiltrated, and believe me, they've betrayed all of us. They betrayed humanity, letting these fucking tards in. If it wasn't for the Anunnaki... I think we would have been able to defend ourselves against this reptoid anonymously <laughs> yeah. You know, these inorganic tarts. That's what I think. 